When it comes to running physics in your games, generally you'll be using your video card, such as this GTX 1080, to run NVIDIA's PhysX. However, if you have a high-end processor, such as an R7 1800X, does a $500 processor do the same quality of work as a $500 graphics card? And does moving all those physics simulations to a 16-thread processor free up some space on your GPU for some extra frames? It's 2017, let's find out. To find out the answer, we ran a few tests. First up is FluidMark. FluidMark is one of those benchmarks we use just to get an idea of a sort of worst case scenario when it comes to PhysX. The benchmark we ran had 10 emitters, each with 150,000 particles. Running PhysX on our GTX 1080, we got 63 simulations per second, a total of 383, and 124 frames per second, 757 total. As we offloaded all of the PhysX to the CPU in NVIDIA Control Panel, with the same emitters and all the same graphical settings, we scored 18 simulations per second, but we did get 160 frames per second. While we did gain some extra frames per second, cutting down by over three times the simulations per second, making the objects stuttery, was not an improvement in real-world experience. If we were somehow able to squeeze in four 1800Xs, or magically overclock it to 16 GHz, then perhaps running PhysX on this processor would make sense for this test. For DirectX 11, we chose Passion Leads Army. Using the 1800X for PhysX, our average frame rate was 55.25. Our 1% low was 33.11, and our 0.1% low frame rate was 27.62%. Moving PhysX back to the graphics card, we got 108.34 frames per second average, a 1% low of 73.53, and a 0.1% low of 60.61 frames per second. A huge improvement. As for our DirectX 12 benchmark, we were still using the Unreal Engine for this benchmark. We saw 149.03 average frames per second. Our 1% low was 84.03 frames per second, and our 0.1% low was 22.22 frames per second. Moving PhysX processing back to the graphics card, our average frame rate 155.04 frames per second. Our 1% low, 84.75 frames per second, and our 0.1% low was 46.73 frames per second. So there you have it. A $500 processor, even with 16 threads at 4 gigahertz, is no match for a GTX 1080 as of 2017. Now, by how much depends on the game or the benchmark that you're running. Between now and next year when Volta comes out, if you're still craving some more tech videos about graphics cards, make sure to check out some of our previous videos, as well as make sure you're subscribed so that you won't miss any future videos that we upload as well. And make sure to leave a comment below. Have you noticed much of a difference as you've played around with PhysX in your games? Do you have any games that run PhysX? Let me know.